This is adding non-perpendicular vectors example one. Notice it is non-perpendicular and that would also imply non-parallel for that matter too. We've got 320 kilometers going east and then we have 80 kilometers at 30 degrees north of east. So 320 kilometers this way and then it's about 80 kilometers at an angle of 30 degrees. Now, if we notice, this kind of looks like a right triangle. And in fact, we can break it down into the X and Y components of the right triangle. So let's go ahead and make our list here. We have 320 kilometers at zero degrees. That's using east is zero and north is 90. Then we have 80 kilometers at 30 degrees. If we can break this down into our X and Y components, that'll be good stuff. X and Y, remember, if I've got a triangle here, this is my X, here's my Y, and here's my R. If I'm trying to get the X component, I'm going to be using the cosine. So X equals R times cosine theta. And then y equals r sine of theta. So I'm going to write a little reminder to myself that cosine goes for x and sine goes for y. So I have 320 kilometers times the cosine of 0. And that's easy. That's just 320. I'm using my calculator for this. 320 times the sine of 0. Well, the sine of 0 is 0. So that goes away. Here's the slightly more interesting one. 80 kilometers times the cosine of 30. That would be 69.3 and then 80 kilometers times the sine of 30 is going to be 40 kilometers. I add these up and get my big X and my big Y. These are pretty easy to add up. I'm going to have 389.3 as my big X, and then 40 as my big Y. So that's a good halfway point. I'm now going to redraw, or I'm going to really just draw for the first time, my new resultant triangle. This is the 389.3, and then this guy here is my... 40 and my resultant vector is this guy right here okay so i've got to get the magnitude by using good old pythagorean theorem x squared plus y squared equals r squared it turns out that tapping into my calculator i get the r is equal to 391.3 kilometers i still have to get the angle here and the angle, I'm going to be using the opposite and the adjacent. So that sounds like the TOA part of SOCA TOA. I remember that is going to be tangent of theta equals the opposite over the adjacent. Or in terms of physics, tan theta equals y over x. Now I don't want tangent of theta, I want just plain theta. So that means theta is equal to the arc tangent or tan to the minus 1 y divided by x. Tapping into my calculator, tan to the minus 1 40 divided by 389.3, close parenthesis, enter, I get about, that was theta that I was solving for, theta equals 5 point, well that was a 5, 5.866 degrees. So my resultant, which once again, I've kind of run out of room here, I'll mark it in blue, 
my resultant is going to be 391 kilometers at 5.9 degrees north of east. And I notice that those values are quite reasonable because 391 is larger than either 389.3 or 4 indivi or 40 individually, but not larger than the two of them added together. And the 5.9 degrees part makes sense because, look, this is quite small compared to this side. So it makes sense that this angle here is going to be considerably smaller than 45 degrees.